first this lunchtime, tributes have been paid to a man killed in a suspected hit-and-run incident while he was on honeymoon in Mexico. Ray Cotton, who was from Wakefield, died in the coastal city of Cancun. Emma Glasby reports. Next this lunchtime, appeals are being made for more people to become organ donors. The NHS Blood and Transplant Service have begun a campaign called Pass It On. They're encouraging people to talk about donation so that relatives know what to do when a loved one dies. In Yorkshire, 780 people are waiting for a transplant. So far this year, 86 people have benefited from a donation. But during that same period, five people have died due to a shortage of organs. As part of the National Transplant Week, our reporter Shirley Henry has been to meet a North Yorkshire mother who donated part of her liver to a seven-year-old daughter. Now, it's been 25 years since 167 people died in the Piper Alpha oil rig explosion off the coast of Scotland. Paul Berriff from North Yorkshire was a young photographer at the time and was there by chance filming search and rescue crews, uh, searching with the search and rescue crews, should I say. He captured the only pictures in the immediate aftermath of the explosion and has been speaking to some of the survivors for a new film about the disaster. Cathy Killick has more. Certainly do. Now, final preparations are underway for the Great Yorkshire Show, which opens tomorrow. Look North will, of course, be there in force, and it should be a bit drier than last year. Couldn't get any worse. What a difference a year makes. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? I mean, tomorrow is uh, scorching. If you don't like the heat, perhaps Wednesday will be the day. This is how it's looking spectacular. Go on, get off to the show. I'll sort your graphics <laughs> out for you. We'll be back uh, at 6.30 uh, with Harry and Nicola and, of course, Paul. Bye-bye. <laughs>